Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am back again bringing you inspiration and love. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning to see another day. Um, as I had talked about in my last video, um, the wounds of fatherless daughters, um, I just want to kind of talk about that again and how the, it, it causes brokenness um, in our lives when we don't have our fathers in our life and not just our fathers, our mothers too. I mean, if, if this, these are for people that have been broken from as a child, um, maybe your mother did not love you. Maybe your father did not love you. Um, maybe you've been in a bad relationship with somebody. Maybe you have a bad relationship with a family member or friend. Something has happened. You know, I'm talking to you. You know, something has happened and it has caused so much dysfunction and damage to your heart, to your mind, to your soul. You know, I'm here to tell you to love yourself. Love yourself. You know, you're putting your your priorities of people, of, comp of pleasing people over yourself. Start loving yourself. And you want to know how to love yourself? You want to really know how to start loving yourself. And I know we all hear this all the time. Start loving yourself. But you know what? The only way you're going to be able to love yourself is to find God. To have a relationship with God. Love God. When, when you start to have a relationship with God, He completes you. He takes away the brokenness and the pain. And I'm not talking about religion. Religion... And relationship are two different things. You know, people might call me holier than thou. Or, or people may call anybody that's holier than thou when they speak about God's word and God's truth. And, and, and what he's done for, for you and what he's done for your soul. God loves you. He created you. He made you into his own image. God is a God of love. And and he created us he created us to love so therefore we are here to love others we are here to receive love and we are here to give love but if you don't love yourself how can you love anybody else how can you love anybody else if you don't love yourself take care of yourself take care of your emotional state of state of being take care, take care of your mental state of mind. Take care of your health, your physical health. I know you hear people say, um, exercise, eat right. But that's true. You're supposed to. Because if you don't, you're damaging your body physically. You're killing yourself softly. Love yourself. That's what I want to say to you today is love yourself. Because if you don't, who else will? And God, having a relationship with God as I, was going, as I was saying earlier, he gives you everything you need. He completes you. You don't, have to, you don't have to want anything. God already knows your desires. He already knows your lacks and your voids and your needs. Yeah, your father may have not liked you. Maybe you never met your father. Or maybe your father is in prison. Or maybe your father passed away. Or maybe your mother never liked, liked you or loved you. Or maybe she showed favoritism towards others and never liked you or despised you for some reason. Or maybe these wounds are still sitting in your soul and your heart and it's causing depression. And it's causing insecurities to rise. And it's causing uh, um, the brokenness to cause you to be isolated from people and to become anger, resentful, bitter towards people. You know, and then you start to look at yourself differently. And then you don't love yourself. And you're feeling fear. And you're feeling shame. And you're feeling guilt. And you're feeling doubt. And now you're worrying. And now you're stressed out. But I'm here today to tell you God will give you everything you need. He will heal you from everything you need. He will restore you from all that has been um, put in you. All of the toxins. All of the scars that people have put on you. People have done you wrong, betrayed you. Best friends have betrayed you. Close family members have betrayed you. But it is okay. Because some of these hardships are for a reason. 
there for a reason. And it's not to break you, but it's to make you, to make you stronger. Because God know what we all need. God heals us in our own time. He heals us differently because we're wired differently. We are created by him though. So he knows us. And like I say, it's not a, it's not a religion. Oh, we can religiously do anything we want. We can religiously go to work. We can religiously wake up in the morning. We can religiously eat. We can religiously do a lot of things. But it's relationship with God. And that is the only way you are going to love yourself. So start loving yourself. Start today. I love you and God bless you.